so these are all of our pages and I think this will be a really fat one and I think we have to do some protection so this is the back side this is the front this is the back side front and back side oh wow this is really oh my god this will be so thick uh, i think uh, i have to do my inside cover front and back as flat as possible because this is really really thick the spine has to be at least oh, a four and three quarters at least maybe a five inch and this is really really thick and all the embellishments we have on here we have to protect this um, and we have to do some protection um, for the protection um, for this I need my front pages so these are my front pages and for the protection I have um, where did I have it? Here. I have such um, document folders. And I cut this in the size I need. I made here a quarter inch depth and a hinge to glue this on. On both sides I put some double sided tape. And what I want to do is, I will glue this here inside of these tunnel. And with these double sided tape, I will close the tunnel on my binding side. Um, we will do a binding with some longer um, gluing hinges because this is really really heavy and I think a tiny half inch is not enough so th I think this is this the, f the next step I will do is to glue in here my protection sheets
So, and the last one, this is like this, and this will be on here. The last one we have to glue behind page number eight on the right side that we have here also the protection for the decoration. prepared my um, cover pieces. This is my spine, nine and a quarter by four and three quarters and two for front and back, nine and a quarter by nine and a half. All my pieces are on the back side with some double-sided tape. And I also cut here my um, papers for the cover and this is made of three 12 by 12 papers. I have here in the middle marked my spine piece. This I will glue on here. So where is my pokey tool? There. I saw in a tutorial that some people does here on the spine some double-sided tape, some smaller one. And I think this is, yeah, I will put here, is this one of an eights? Yeah, a quarter, a little bit under a quarter. I will put here some double-sided tape beside my spine piece and I will see when I make my bending line that the papers will glued nicely together. This is first time I do this. You will see. Maybe it will be the first and the last time.
this is my binding base. And this one measures um, nine and a quarter by nine and one of an eighth. Nine and one of an eighth. This is the width and this is the height. So, my base. So, this is my spine. Here I make a mark. And this is a four and three quarters, of course. And I have to cut a piece of paper for my, um, for cover up my binding. So this I can glue down. nicely between my two marks here so this is Binding. I need four incision cuts. So I have marked my incision cuts. Um, I have here in the middle a four inch space. Four inch. And then I have here a distance about a three of an eighth. Now I made this one and a quarter and also from the other side one and a quarter and then we have here in the middle it's a little bit more than one of a quarter. <coughs> and here this is the heights of my um, pages, eight and three quarters. So we have here, top and bottom, a tiny bit of a space. Um, to secure these small strip, because here will be a lot of stress um, for the paper, I will glue on the back side some Tyvek. These are some Tyvek. And I will glue this here on the back side. <clears throat> Top and bottom. So I will let this um, a minute to dry before we will cut inside. <clears throat> For my binding, 
Um, I have here two pieces of paper. One measures eight and three quarters by 12 inch, and the other one is eight and three quarters by nine and three of an eighth. And I scored from each end to the middle at three and a half and four. Then I turn this three and a half and four. Same on here. Um, three and a half and four. I turn this three and a half and four. So, and these three and a half um, flaps here will be for my pages. On that I will glue on my pages. And we have, of course, these half inch extra hinge to lay my pages as flat as possible. See the next problem. I see the problem here with my cardstock. I have some crackings, and this is not good on my binding. So I think I think I have to do here some Tyvek also. This is not good. This cardstock is not really good for my binding, but I have to use this. So I will cut some two inch strips. One, two, three, four. So let this dry for a moment and then I will go to my incision cuts. So um, <clears throat> I will cut my uh, pencil mark off. So I have to do two cuts each line, left and right.
I have distressed here um, the fold lines that there will be no white visible and now I will see if this is fitting or if I have to cut this a little bit smaller and I have to cut this smaller. This is no problem. This can be a tiny bit smaller. And this is my binding. And this one I will glue here inside.
I will put there some weight on and I will leave this to dry at least an hour. I think then it's fine and we can bend our cover. So we can go further with the um, cover. Um, I have a problem with my cover because the cardstock is not really um, sturdy enough. I had here on this point crackles and it cracks really really bad you can see this I guess you can see this here so what I did um, I made some bookbinders linen over it for more strength but I don't like this either I don't like it so we will cover this um, later when we have everything on the cover we will cover this part here again with some lace or maybe I have some fluffy fab fabric maybe I put here some fluffy fabric um, I prepared my front and back papers with some dies from Sissix and the other one I don't know where I get this from I put here some um, some paste on also here on my trees this is a printable and I glued this on made some drops with white acrylic paint this will be the back side here again with some um, trees and this paste for yeah the illusion of snow here I had to put some more glue on This I will put aside. This will be my spine. And I also made a little dangle here for this part. Not really much, only for the decoration. I don't know what I will put here on my spine. So this will be the last step. The next what we will do is we will glue in all our pages. So, and for this, I have here inside, this was the last step, the binding. I put here on one side some double-sided tape and I put on my B sides also some double-sided tape. And now I will start to glue this in. Um, later when we have everything in the book, I can see how many space I have for the front and the back. This is also what uh, this we have also to do okay then I will start with the first page
so all our pages are in and I have also to see if we need a closure maybe I will do um, a ribbon closure protection sheets are really really necessary and like I said I will do at the front and the back only um, some uh, pockets where I can put in all of my um, cards I have prepared this one here and I have also all these tags so I think two pockets picture mat this is also a picture mat this one here and this one and this is also a picture mat this is a little booklet to journal on and I have here these tags one, two, three, four, and four. So I need two pockets. Um, this will be on the back side. This will be on the front. This will be on the back side. On the front. On the front side leftover pieces and use this one this will be really a quick and easy design So this goes on here. The measurements. Um, this is a four and a half and a ten and a half with left and right a half inch hinge.
so okay now let's decorate the cover and I will do a closure and I will do a ribbon closure I have here these ribbon this is a little bit sparkly with some snow and I will use this
I think I like this. This fluffy fabric. So, what else did we need? I think we need more decoration here on my spine. Um, maybe some of these cutouts. So it's finished now. I think I will stop. I like here this fluffy fabric. Looks so cozy. So we have the ribbon closure and here on the spine I made a little decoration with a Christmas tree and here this little girl with his um, doll. Here a little decoration we have the dangle here on and on the back side it looks like this. So I hope you will like this and I see you on my next project. Bye bye. <music>